Hi friends, it's Amy from the Wood County District Public Library Children's Place. Today for story time, I have my crown and a good book called The Worst Princess. Oh, what, what do you think makes her the worst princess? That's like the very best bad one. Let's see. This book was written by Anna Kemp and Sarah Ogilvie. And it was published by Random House. So we want to thank Random House and Anna Kemp and Sarah Ogilvie for creating this book for us. A book called The Worst Princess. And it starts out the way all good fairy tales start out. Once upon a time, in a tower near you, lived a lovely princess, the Princess Sue. Look at that beautiful place she lives. Someday, she sighed, my prince will come, but I wish he'd move his royal bum. I've waited for a hundred years. I'm getting stiff. I'm bored to tears. I've read the books. I know the score. I've grown my braids down to the floor. I really need to get some air to see the world and cut my hair. Then, just as Sue was about to scream, a prince appeared. Twas like a dream. Oh, princess, pretty as a pea, I've journeyed far to rescue thee. Look, his horse is climbing the ladder to rescue the princess, Sue. Did you notice her yellow sneakers? She's a special princess. I fought, I won, I shocked, I awed. You should have seen me swing my sword. I've slain all kinds of vicious foe. That's fab, said Sue. Now, can we go? Your true love's kiss should do the trick. So pucker up, kiss me quick. Oh, there she goes. She's smooching him. They charged off on a dashing steed. Sometimes in fairy tales, the steed is what they call the horse. Whoopee, cried Sue. At last I'm freed. Today I start my happy end. But then she saw around the bend. Where are we going, my prince, my love? Back to my castle, turtle dove. My perfect peach, my precious flower. You have a penthouse in the tower. I'd rather ride a horse, said Sue, and do all kinds of fun stuff too. She doesn't want to go be stuck up in a tower again. Too bad, said Prince. You know the rules. Didn't you listen at princess school? It's me who wears the armor here, and you wear dresses. Are we clear? Just smile a lot and twist your curls. Dragon bashings, not for girls. Uh-oh. Alone in her tower, Sue started to spit. What a disaster! My prince is a twit. Then in the sky, she suddenly spied a fearsome dragon with flashing eyes. Sue didn't run. She had no fear. Instead, she had a bright idea. Hey, you, she called, with the scary claws. Fancy some tea for your fiery jaws? Oh, yes, said the dragon. What a relief. That pesky prince is giving me grief. Me too, said Sue. The sneaky rascal has locked me up in this stupid castle. The twit, gasped the dragon. That just won't do. We need to teach him a thing or two. The dragon sniffed some nasal spray. That's for when you have a cold. Sometimes you need nasal spray. I wonder why the dragon needs it. Then blew the tower clean away. So the nasal spray made him sneeze, and that destroyed Princess Sue's tower where she was stuck. She was feeling stuck there. Princess Sue, that's quite enough. The prince was back and in a huff. 
Where's your tower? Look at your dress. You really are the worst princess. Also, Susan, beg your pardon? Why is there a dragon in my garden? He is very rude. She's right to not want to marry him, isn't she? Perhaps I am the worst princess, laughed Princess Sue. My hair's a mess. My tower's a wreck. But I don't care. I've booked a flight with dragon air. The dragon sniffed. And then with two snorts, set a light the princely shorts set a light she, he set fire to uh oh he had to dunk his bottom in the in the pond from that day on the newfound friends toured the land from end to end now she gets to go see stuff and the dragon has a friend making mischief left and right Ooh, she's doing a joust, a battle with another knight for royal twits and naughty knights. She's causing trouble for naughty knights. You know, said Sue, as they drank their tea, we're a great team, you and me. The dragon's belly shook with laughter, and they both lived happily ever after. It's not many fairy tale books that end with the princess being happy with the dragon. But that was the worst princess. See you next time.